Hi everybody, happy Tuesday to you. Three new senior meteorologists, Matt Winston, look at your forecast. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to join us here on our YouTube channel. We've got pop up showers and thunderstorms. We go throughout the remainder of the day. A lot of areas just seeing flat out sunshine. Uh, most of those storm chances look confined to the eastern counties as we go throughout the afternoon as an area of low pressure swirls just north of Pennsylvania. Highs today in the lower 80s, maybe even mid 80s. We get enough sunshine in our western counties. That humidity not making it feel any better. Tonight, everything should clear on out. We should have clear skies for a period. Temperatures back down near 70 tonight, so another very muggy night. And then tomorrow will feature mainly dry weather. We'll heat up into the mid and upper 80s tomorrow afternoon, and we'll have to keep our eye out for a late day storm chance. Models are not good in this pattern, uh, but again, that threat is there for some kind of late day storm tomorrow. We'll see if that comes to fruition. Either way, hot and humid. Rainfall does not fall evenly this time of year. We noticed that yesterday. We saw a lot of places didn't get any rain. Other places saw an inch to two and a half inches of rain. It just does not fall evenly in thunderstorms, and that's going to be the case all the way through the weekend as we remain in this stormy pattern, at least through Saturday. Sunday we may catch a break, but in terms of the long range that humidity isn't going anywhere. In fact, we're going to stay tropical all the way through Tuesday as this most humid week of the year so far continues to roll on. In terms of your long range your forecast, our attention will turn out towards the west. What we'll see develop really starting Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday is we're going to see these big complexes of storms that develop randomly out in the plains and each one will kind of curve along that ridge. And we'll be in the path of it. You know, will some of them head through Illinois and Indiana? Sure, they could miss us, but we're also within the range of possibility for where these big complexes of storms can go. You can see there's a more concentrated chance that they develop around here Friday, Saturday. Any one of those rounds could be strong to severe with damaging winds being the primary risk. So we'll have to keep a close eye on the radar as we go in the latter half of the week. And then eventually we'll calm down into next week before another frontal boundary comes by uh, as we go into the middle half of next week. But putting the numbers and and icons together for your Medina Country Club seven day forecast. Today there's your storm chance. Tomorrow we heat up as a result of less storms. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the storms will be in waves. I think there'll be lots of dry hours in between heading on into the weekend. If you do have plans, Saturday looks to be the stormier day out of the two with Sunday featuring some drier weather. We're back with a very important weather update on the TV side of things coming your way this afternoon. We'll be back. Enjoy your day, everybody.